My blissful words is sir. As long as you do not have an understanding of your cosmic self, so long you are a merchant. All people throughout the world, throughout the history, were and are and will be merchant, businessmen. Businessmen in commercial project. They are all entrepreneurs and involved in big entrepreneurial large groups of merchant. Left a group of big entrepreneurial large group of merchants left their home in business expedition to occupy Solomon's treasure hidden in pyramid of bliss consciousness with with enlightenment okay this group flew by a special jet to Machu Picchu of Peru then to 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 Buenos Aires of Argentina and from there they were flying to Caucasian mountain ranges in a hill there was near valley of Mount Caucasus the infinite wealth of Solomon was hidden in a cavern of pyramid with the Holy Grail. It is an eastern version of Plato's um, caveman saga, my dear friends. As long as you do not have understanding of your cosmic self, you have nothing to live for except doing um, commerce buying and selling selling and buying selling and buying and living and profits that's all what you know and nothing more you can understand even if you try the, the hardest Still nothing will penetrate your brain. So my dear friend, what happened? This jet flying fast on the space of Mount Caucasia, it, it crashed with, with, with a snow-clad high hill top. Luckily, they all survived, but fallen in the middle of a thick jungle. There they find six mafias who befriended them to rob. These mafias are five senses of perceptions with the mind, and they are lost in the jungles of Caucasus mountain ranges. Every night they make big camps and, and stretch their tents and sleeping and snoring, everybody feels it is dirty and uncomfortable, but they, they, they have to survive somehow on bare necessities. Everyone is born empty-handed and naked. He grabs from others' possession. That means he inherits, inherits, he is paid or offered. The only wealth in life is the life breath. The breath that is snatched away by decoys of six senses. The remaining is robbed by wolves and jackals in the form of in the form of your boyfriend and girlfriends, her wife, her kids and husbands, 
whatever is left the gnats the mosquitoes the locusts and 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 rats and and, and pickpocketers are relatives and co-workers and friends and sickness and laziness etc take away as they walk they are addicted to see chronic optical illusion and 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 mirage being sexaholic being historic hysteric being workaholic and having and and having what drug addictions of eating delicious food and costly wine and costly tea and costly coffee going on world trips having beautiful miss universes to spend life with having billions of dollars to sit on the top of the piles is if i is blinded with dust their perspective is obscure cannot see cannot realize the place a person situation and run after sensational tantalizing stuff which are only deceptive objective okay disturbed and agitated by hooting of owls and shrills of cricket the boredom restless mm, and inner vacancy and agony become so constant that in order to forget it he or she always have to keep television on and radio volume on so up that even never at all disturb as time passes they go shameless and quarrel to keep it going on loud loud music the pop music is becoming popular even in india i was going somewhere and there was a lord krishna school and in front of there was a tent i had to pass through that and they were playing this pop music in vrindavan in this world everybody's mental condition is not at all any better than the imprisoned in hitler's concentration camp or prison now any country any style in any mouth and tongue fighting for petty things ready to kill or be killed for piece of chocolate like any an important reason this is their common social norm when they become a little mature type and become a social reformer religious minister political leader they feel like hiking a huge mountain of precepts where jarring noise of holy guns and and and, and thorns and gravels of bullet words of opposing parties peer up all the way from chest to spine and skull to soul my goes on a screaming over were too short notice no time too busy lost tranquility they went their anger on their own people poor wife poor kids poor friend become their victims now cut in the grip of a python in the form of deep sleep lying down steep down in inertia inertiatic ignorance their life is as good as dead stumbling and groping just tight thorny path in darkness they are 
fall into a bush covered dark dry ancient vast tunnel among great commotion and shock they felt they felt what they felt good opportunity to steal others possession and women and they started buying and selling making big noise big commotion nobody cares for values or feelings or mohabbat or our prem our love all are busy to give seminars and writing books and giving aid some television how to be a big dollar pulling bright entrepreneur overnight how to be this and how to be that but never be what you are who you are in the true self a holy man told me in his student life he was charged for an offense and was ordered to pay the penalty all friends suggested there is no strength in the charge let us appeal and get it dismissed to to them uh, the future wise men said i to take three months to write a brief mailing waiting going to court and looking at 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 obnoxious faces so much of heart and time would be invested so let us just pay the penalty and get rid of this thought bottom line is he can pay but he cannot give his mind to a wrong play but the world is mostly populated by conjus and makhi juice people who eat well but do not let others others eat and those who neither eat themselves not let other people eat so my dear friend carrying on business transactions on a very small scale with their own fellow being even for a small amount they are full of a trade due to their grabbings and possessive and obsessive nature by hook or crook suffering terrible hardship making some bank balance gets to get married young lady is personified is an illusory potency of the almighty falling in her cozy embrosial arms your discretion your wisdom your projects are soon painted as if smelled a chloroform the pressure of anesthesia lasts too long each time the vibrations go on piling up your brain goes on getting thicker and thicker weaker and weaker you construct a pleasure house and lured by promises of rose gardens and togetherness affectionate glances delighting gestures of growing family and friend circle you turn mayor and more alien to yourself more and more alien to your true self these people of not spirited demeanor hurl each other's life into bottomless confusion and chaos for millions of years of this creation obsessed with excessive fondness for their wife and kids as monkey race as 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 at race in coition unable to rescue themselves from the mystic trap of maya of bhagavan vasudev my dear friend as the old age comes the bond of passion go 
loose. It goes loose and worry sweeps in. The developed feeling of enmity enhanced by mutual fascination for our own and mutual attraction for wealth. They go on filing in the court charges against each other and appealing them while doing all these gigantic elephant named Mr. Death comes in and smashing down all their dreams and hopes destroy their life. Due to their lost desire for revenge and wealth, they go on doing the same in new birth and the next birth and the next birth, in a new body and new condition, but the same old, heavily conditioned and programmed mind act. It functions and goes on and goes on and on, it goes on pushing and dumping entire life into the same old ruts. Thus, through 800,000 lifetimes, for they have, they have, they have what? They have been cycled and recycled and revolved. The world becomes a dungeon and life a mini hell. A trance migrated, yet all are still involved in the same merry go round of kiddish childhood game. Civilizations flourish, political situations change, styles and fashions change, but childish tendencies never go away. Unless one wants to change and strive for it, my dear friends. In Satya Yuga, in Treta Yuga, in Dwapar Yuga, in Ardi Kali Yuga, nation is governed by the laws of Dharma, the cosmic law, the laws of Manu, in which atmosphere of Satsanga and birth of wise men and wise women are favorable. In 5,000 years down in Kali Yoga, uh, secular and democratic and, 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 and uh, Islamic and communistic government come which have so narrow and mean attitude, they put um, ban on a spiritual life, revolve the world, come dungeon and all becomes hellish, hellish, okay? English and French and German and Russian and American and Blacks and Muslims and Christians and Jews and Buddhists and Japanese lifestyles are different and fascinating to each other, yet to the undercurrent of similar age-old folly is too apparent and clear, you spot it out as soon as you are out of it, as soon as you transcend it, as soon as you rise above it, you spot out this, 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 this dangerous folly. So, dear Rahogan, Janabharat ji said to King Rahogan, O oh, King Rahogan, with the exception of counted few, this company of merchant has never returned to their destination, nor back to America. Even to this day, in Janvaranti concluded the allegory, my dear friend, not read the where holy sire, Rakhinda Rahogan asked, and Janvaranti said, to the Solomon stranger in Mount Caucasia, remember what's now what's that? That's enlightenment, my dear buddy. Enlightenment, where the real guy exists in fullness, okay? That last part hit the well of ignorance of King Rogan and boom, the inner, inner enlightenment 
clashes. Apples and 